All right, guys, we're back at Fit Club today. I'm training glutes with Andy. Not a whole lot to say here. This is gonna be a really intense leg session. I don't know what he's had plans for me. The camera guy here told him to kick my ass. So that's what we're gonna do today. So stay tuned. We're gonna teach you guys everything that we're doing in this workout. So we're gonna go through step by step and hopefully build some glutes in the process. Okay. So this is uh this is 50 grams of carbs, 20 grams of EAAs, and 10 grams of creatine. Okay. So I'm not gonna work out, so you are gonna use it. Okay. So this is for your glutes. Yeah. Don't get too huge. I hit a new low weight. Talk to me. 153 and a half. 0.5. I don't think I've seen that weight this year, actually. No, fortunately, I think the lowest has been like 155, maybe 154. 15, five, big squeezes. Four, three, two, one more. Good. We're gonna rest for 90 seconds. Ow. See, I like this weight because I feel like I can really control it and feel it sometimes i feel like when we go really heavy it's just like force you know yeah. i wanted to go up to two do you want to go up to one and a half right now yeah okay so we uh we started with a 135 we just this is the first exercise so the, the, we do a lot of feeler sets into the first exercise we want to get blood in the glutes blood in all the joints keep her nice and warm now this is a working set but we're trying out just a different different set uh different form with her feet more in uh, but it's going to be a complete rest pause set so she's going to take the set to failure i'm going to rest for 20 seconds she's going to take another set to failure rest 20 seconds and then the third set so it's going to be three sets into one let's go Vic. here we go one and i want these to failure two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, more, 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 more. Fourteen, fifteen, five. Come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, twenty seconds. Racket, racket, racket. Ow. Take a sip of the carbs. Just a small sip. You got 12 seconds left. She got 20. We're going to aim for at least half. So if you got 20, your goal should be 10 to 12. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, come on. Nine. Ten, one more, one more, one more, one more. 11, rack it. 20 seconds. We're gonna shoot for six. Six repetitions on here. We have 15 seconds left. One, go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, Vic. One more, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. High, high. Good, rack. Oh. I can feel my energy halfway through that second, just like. Yeah, yeah, rest pauses are brutal. Like when I'm doing rest pause, it's usually just one rest pause and then move on. Like I don't do any more working sense in a rest pause because it's pretty much like a, a three cluster set into one um, invented by Dante Trudell. I'm gonna go three with a working set. Okay, so this is gonna be a working set. This is 90 pounds. Vic likes to grab plates because she's a beast. And then we're gonna go 345s um, for another working set. So two working sets, and then I'm gonna have her drop those plates and just rep it out body weight. We're just gonna fill the glutes up with blood and then move on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze right up here, right up here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, more. 13, 14, 15, five. Come on, five, four, big stretch, big stretch. Three, two, one, good. I'm just letting my back relax. Are you recording? Okay, yeah, we're gonna take a break, give her a hamstring a little break and just do some isolated abductions once she gets off the floor and feels recovered. But just some abductions after this. It's my favorite spot. Right. Stretch. Floor is nice and cool. So I just do this because when I do a heavy glute set, my so the glute muscles cross across your back like that. So when I go really heavy, it's almost like they squeeze the low back a little bit. So this just helps to relax the back. And then I can keep going. 
All right, yeah, we're jumping right into it. She's warm. A little bit aggressive. It's not aggressive, no. Okay, same thing. I like to go toes slightly in, so you're driving more with the knees. One, there we go. Two, yep, shove that butt in that seat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, come on, five, give me five. Five, four, three, two, big hold here. One, hold, 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 good. We're gonna do uh, one more set with a drop and then uh, we're gonna move on to uh, cable kickbacks, two sets. Switch of the polarity, you're gonna feel a little different on the on the pads, okay? okay. All right, here we go. This is the last set, this is the money set. One, two, three, four, five, push into my thigh, just try to break my thigh. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Three, okay, good, oh, that's, that's it. it, stay there, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, uh, two, one more, good, one, go. 10, hard, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hard, push, push, push. Good. Now we're gonna do cable kickbacks. I can just feel like my my energy just like. Yeah, we're almost, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's well, yeah. Like the ATP, it just like mm -hmm. out. <laughs> yep, and we still got, I mean, you still, you're probably burning through those 50 grams of carbs we've got here, so. Yeah, it's almost done here, sip. This is still very intense workout, but what's cool about this workout right now is we're not doing any pressing that requires a lot of oxygen to, because the quads really take it out of you. So when she, we start doing leg press or even box squats, we're hitting glutes, but we're also, we're hitting the entire leg. And that's where it's like, that's where the heart rate jumps up to the 170s, you know, and it's like really hard to recover between sets, but these are still very intense, just a different type of intense. Tell me if that's too light, because we've normally have gone to 20, 25, but kick, kick it back a couple times, let me know. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, three. Here we go. Blast through my hand on the mid. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five, four. Three, two, one, swap. I like to put my hand here. Um, you got, oh, you want the second one? I like to put my hand uh, at the top because from right here, from here to here is is, is difficult. That's where like a, one of your strength curves is. But from here to here, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to finish this contraction. So I like to put my hand here to create a secondary strength curve. I can't explain the science behind it. I just do it with my clients and and, and it works. Um, and I just create two points of the strength curve uh, in this movement. Okay, here we go, Vic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, good. We'll bump it up to uh, 20 for the, fi for the final set. We're gonna rest uh, nine, 90 seconds. Seven, a little stronger on this leg. Eight, there we go. Nine. 10, good, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One more hard, hard, hard. Good. Um, we're going to we're going to do a lying leg curl, and then we're going to finish up with uh, an RDL. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little John Meadows style leg curl. So we're going to do uh, one one. So left right single leg uh, hamstring curls. Left right 10, 10 reps on each leg, but alternating. And then we're going to increase the weight and do uh, 10, 10, leg, uh, 10 dual leg curls. Here we go. Big squeeze at the top, though. So hold that for a brief second, okay? I'm going for pump here, okay? Two. Yep. That's two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, two, nine, nine. Come on, Vic, one more. Ten, ten. Okay, set it down, set it down. Okay, go. One, power up. Two, three, explosive. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Big squeeze at this one. Good. Ow. Sweep. Six, six. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. We're going to go 12, okay? 12 singles, two more. 11, 11, 12, 12. Okay, hang tight. Lower. Go. Heavy, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Slow, up, hard, eight, nine. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. One more. 10, all the way, butt down, butt down, all the way, squeeze it hard, hold it, slow. We're gonna call this a working set, okay? Uh, 15, slow. And then I think we can go 225 for eight, and then be done. Nice and tight, nice and tight, here we go. One. Two. Perfect form. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's go 12. Nine. Come on, we got three. Three. Shoot it back, shoot it back, shoot it back. Good stretch, two. Shoot it back, shoot it back. Up, 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 up. Good. Good. I'd like to just go up uh, 10 pounds. I mean, you've seen Vic, RDL, 225, actually 245 cons consistently, consistently. But, um, I mean, it's at that end of the workout. If you've been following us along from the beginning, this is the dead end of the workout. So, we're going to just add 10 pounds. I got a couple steel ones here. All right, last one. Andy, are weight belts necessary? Are weight belts necessary? Not necessary, but um, with as you get heavier, with like like risky movements, like a deep squat or an RDL, I think I think they definitely can have a great play a great part. Are they necessary? You can say so, but I think for your heavier sets, I think they're good. This is my first weight belt. Yeah. Ever in 15 years. Yeah. 
so. I was pressuring you to get one. I just don't. I don't wouldn't... have any. I don't. I've, I've never had back problems. I don't have any back issues. But I also have. You know, we talked about in our other video about just how, as an athlete, I have really good body awareness yeah. and muscle engagement and stuff. So I have very few of that like yeah. things taking over. Yeah. And then just. To, to piggyback on that, as like a bodybuilder, I was a big like old school, like I don't need a weight belt. I, I was old videos of me bent over in 315, deadlifting five, six plates. I wore a belt with the five, six plates. But my point is the stronger you get and the more you're at hinging movements, it is good to create, the, create strong erectors. But again, a physique athlete that's going for the smallest waist possible, I don't really want Victoria to have massive thick erectors. So I'm like, Put a belt on, get a little assistance, give the erectors a blake, and let's just focus on the glutes and hamstrings. All right, here we go. Last set, Vic. One. Two. Three. Four. Big squeeze right now, big squeeze, big squeeze. Five. Six. We got four, we got four. Seven, three, eight, nine. Come on, Vic. See, these are those grinder reps. Ten, up, 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 up. Boom. Beautiful. Seeing stars. Is it time? Is it time? Are we doing uh, goblet squats for time? <laughs> One set. One set of 50. Sure. All right. I got the I got the late text from Brad. Goblin squats for time. I'm sure. Let's do it. All right. So we're just gonna do a finisher. Um, this is gonna be I mean a full leg, but heels elevated, so we're gonna get quads in there. We're doing goblin squats for one set of 50 reps. I'm gonna time her. I don't care how long it takes, but we're gonna see how long it takes, and then the following we're gonna try to beat the time. I'm ready when you are. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29. I knew I should have gone 45, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 41, 42, 43, a minute full, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, you're getting 60, 49, 49, that was mental, 49, up, 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 49, come on, 50, 10 more, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 90 seconds of pure reps, 58, 59, and 60, that was a minute, in 35 seconds of pure tension on the legs. Dude, your stamina was way better than, than Friday. We were just had a conversation. She's like, man, my stamina is kind of, I feel like my stamina isn't improving. It's and, different. Then, and then this week, your it's stamina. A totally different workout. I know, but not from Friday. It was similar from Friday. Yeah, this stamina is picking up. All right, guys. So that wraps up our leg day for today. Mostly glutes. We did a little bit of uh, quads at the end. I dare you to try that mega set at the end, do some goblet squats for time. What did I do? 50, 60 reps in 90 seconds with 40 pounds. So that was good. I know he's gonna try to make me beat that next week. I'm gonna try to avoid, <laughs> avoid doing that again. But uh, yeah, this is a great workout for today. I am transitioning into a deficit right now. So calories are getting low. And as you saw earlier in the workout, mid set, um, especially on the extended sets, I was definitely getting uh, gassed. Very, very low energy uh, mid-set. So low calories do start to kick in. Um, I'm still hovering around 19 to 
um, 1900 calories on most days and then about 2400 calories on my leg days today. So, um, you know, it's not low, but we're getting there. So anyway, if you guys want to see more with this uh, fat loss journey, be sure to subscribe to my be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any questions on this workout, go ahead and comment below.